Now, over the next few weeks, our universities will be welcoming tens of thousands of new students. It means a big change and has a huge impact on the region's economy. Universities directly employ al almost 24,000 people, with a further 19,000 jobs created in surrounding areas. Every year, 45,000 people graduate from our universities, with more than half choosing to stay in the area where they studied. And that's why one Staffordshire town is looking to secure its economic future. Council leaders in Newcastle under Lyme want to build a new student village in the town centre. The hope is it will provide a £30 million boost to local businesses. Chris King reports. Ryan Dimmock puts the finishing touches to the room he'll call home for the next year. Like many students, he looked around before deciding where to go, and the accommodation at Keele was one of the deciding factors. Because I'm, I'm living here, accommodation is very important. It, in some cases, it's as important as the course, really. If you're not happy in your accommodation, you can't perform well on your course. 3,000 students live on campus, with thousands more in the surrounding area. The university is hoping to expand over the next few years and local facilities will be all important. But whatever we do on campus, we will not have enough accommodation, for example, on campus for all of our students to be on here at the same time. So if we can use that in order to help Newcastle develop more broadly, uh, then that is a fantastic thing both for the university and for the local region. I want to go That'll come as music to the ears of council leaders in nearby Newcastle. They want to build 470 student flats on this former supermarket site in the town centre. Students are the future of Newcastle, both in terms of living in the town centre, but the extra spend that they'll bring, and also the, the academic value of having students working. And what we want to do is to keep them living in our communities and to, you know, to be there for the future. You can see why everybody wants to cash in. The latest figures from UK universities suggest that students brought an estimated £2 billion into the West Midlands economy. The problem for Newcastle under Lyme is that the lack of accommodation means that Keele are sending students down the road to Stoke-on-Trent. By the time the flats are finished, Ryan will have left university. The next big challenge will be ensuring that he and thousands like him stay in the area after they've graduated. Chris King, BBC Midlands Today, Newcastle under Lyme.